Okay, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Uh, so, this is going to be a tricky video because I had a whole script ready, ready to go. But I'm just going to throw it out the window, uh, essentially. Not that I'm going to ad-lib everything, or what kind of them, but in any case, I'm going to talk about a, a scripture that is widely misunderstood, and in my opinion, anyway. It has to do with the account of Abraham sacrificing Isaac or attempting to uh, in Genesis 22. Uh, and in that account, Abraham believed in his heart, truly believed that God is the only one who could not just destroy body and spirit, but could also resurrect body and spirit. From the dead, obviously. So I'm going to read Genesis 22, verse 12. It says here, And he, being the angel, said, Lay not your hand upon the child, neither do anything to him, for now, for now I know, who's speaking? Well, it's Yah through the angel. I know that you fear God. In other words, now I know that you, Yere, Yah. You yere me. For my sake, you have not spared your beloved son. Okay? So, I'm going to kind of spoil what, what I've concluded here is that uh, a lot of people misunderstand this uh, yere ya uh, or ya yere in this Genesis 22 to mean God has seen. God has discovered, God will provide. So did God provide that he knows that Abraham fears? No. We're trying to plug in all these different definitions, and that's what I'm doing right now, if you don't understand. So the other definition is uncover or see. So let's try see. Now I see that you fear God. That works. Now I've discovered that you fear God. That also works too. So... It says in verse 14, Abram called the name of that place Yah Yireh, which literally means the Lord fears. But if we switch those terms around, Yireh, Yah, means the fear of the Lord. Not God has seen, as the popular belief is, the popular consensus or perspective is that God has seen or God has provided, or God has discovered. It's the fear of the Lord. Because the, the important thing is not that Abraham saw, or Abraham was provided with, or Abraham discovered, or even God saw, or God discovered, or God provided. The important thing is what was seen, what was uncovered. Because provided, again, doesn't make sense in this account. What was discovered? What was seen? It was the fear of the Lord that Abraham had in his heart was manifested. It was fully matured, or at least matured enough that the Lord, that Yah saw it. That La, that Yah, sorry, not La, that Yah not only saw it, he discovered it. So it could be either or. It could be seen or discovered. I'm open to those possibilities. So that's essentially what it is. Uh, so the, the three possible definitions that people uh, use to explain yure or to, to define yure, because ya means the Lord, or is the Lord in, in English anyway. That's the holy name, the chet. Tetragrammaton, the yod heh vav heh yod heh wow he, however you want to say it. But year A is mysterious because there are, again, it's multidimensional, multifaceted, but in this context of Genesis 22, in the account of Abraham sacrificing Isaac, it could mean three things as they went through. So the first one is the Lord will see, the Lord has seen, or the Lord sees, uh, the next definition is the Lord will provide. Actually, that's one of the more popular 
definitions is the Lord will provide, which, again, does not make sense in the context of this uh, account. Yes, you could say the Lord provided at the end, and that's people reason that that's why Abraham named it that, because he provided on that day, provided a substitution, an, an, an animal to substitute as sacrifice rather than Isaac being sacrificed. Yes, that makes sense in that, from that perspective. However, I submit to you it's not Abraham's perspective that is the most important in this account. It's, it's Adonai's. It's Yah's perspective. And the third definition that is mostly, uh, I should say, the third definition that is uh, possible for this ERA in this account anyway, is discover or to uncover, to reveal, or to be revealed, right? To be uncovered, to be discovered. So again, the first definition is potentially he has, he, uh, sorry, he sees, meaning God or whoever has seen, has sees or was seen. Um, does it make sense? Does it make sense? This definition, it, it does make sense. What about provide? Does that make sense? No, it only makes sense after the fact when you look at the account and say, "Okay, God provided." But why would it be important from God's perspective? Is it simply memorial that you know this is a testimony? God provides. No, I think it's greater than that. Uh, but when we look at the other definition of discover, that seems to be the most uh, full definition. Because it isn't good enough that, or it's not sufficient that, that uh, Abraham just saw that God provided. And it's not sufficient either that God only saw uh, what was physically seen. God sees everything. It's more important as to what was uncovered that day, what was discovered that day, because life is a lot like not just seeing, not just living through life on the daily and being provided for. Life is more of a discovery. You know, in, in the province of Ontario, for example, the license plate says, uh, yours to discover. And like any good book, the, the further you get into a book, the more you discover and uncover and the more the book makes sense. Okay. That's a famous saying. Got that from a yearbook quote. But anyway, um, yeah. So that, that is more relevant to the account. Not merely seeing. Providing, again, makes no sense, but uncovering or revealing makes the most sense. So, again, I'm just going to throw out my script in front of me and just conclude with this, for the, the purpose of this video, anyway. Just to clarify and clear out all the confusion about this Genesis 22 uh, passage, specifically the the... Jehovah Jireh, as a lot of people pronounce, but it's actually I'm not trying to get into an argument, but Yah Yireh. Yah Yireh is not God has provided. It doesn't matter. Not that it doesn't matter, but it's not as significant that Abraham was provided for. A, a ram was provided. It's not as significant that God is a provider. Yes, it's important, but that's not the focus of this account. The focus, rather, could be one of the two possibilities. It is either the fact that Abraham has seen that God can be trusted. He has seen uh, God is faithful. He has seen the, the provision but greater than that is that Abraham discovered that God can be trusted. 
Abraham discovered God's faithfulness to him. And then we look from the perspective of, of Yah, of the Lord, of Adonai. The important thing isn't that God saw certain things. God sees everything. He knows everything. But what does God search? Does he look on the outside? Does he judge people based on outward appearance? No. God searches the heart, it says in Scripture. He tries the reins. He, he searches the depths of our being, our hearts. And God discovered that day. What did God discover that day? He discovered Abraham's faith, Abraham's obedience, and most of all, and this is the crux of the matter, he discovered the Yire Yah in Abraham's heart that was not manifested to the depth and the, the degree that it was, except on that day where he had to rise to the occasion. Okay, that was one of the greatest tests, not just in Abraham's lifetime, but all of mankind's history. And Abraham passed the test with flying colors to the point that that place was named the fear of the Lord. So I lean towards, it's not even any of these definitions. It's not seen, discover, or provide. It's actually the fear of the Lord. But in the context of the story, if we're going to go with, uh, not go with, but understanding what did what God had seen, he, or what God discovered, is that uh, Abraham truly fears the Lord. Abraham truly had Yireya. Uh, and just to reiterate what is written in verse 12, it says, via the angel, now I know who's speaking. This is Yah through the angel. Now I know that you, Yire Yah, for my sake. Now I know. Because of his obedience, because of his, of his faithfulness. Where did that obedience, faithfulness, and trust stem from? His Yire Yah. Abraham's Yire for Yah. Abraham's reverence, respect, and being in awe of this majestic Elohim, the true Elohim, the only living Elohim, to the point that that Elohim, that same one who is known as Yah, is called to this day the God of Abraham. The God of Abraham. His name is forever linked to this God. And God forever linked to this man of great faithfulness, of great trust, of great obedience, and ultimately of great fear. That's where it stems from. Great ERA. And not fear as in terror, fear as in reverence, fear as in respect, fear as in awe. And we're going to explore this meaning a little more further down the line. Uh, there's still more definitions to uncover. This is not really phase two of ERA. I think this is more of a building on phase one. This is phase one in practice. That's what this video is. So I apologize for the shakiness of this. It keeps shaking on this uh, little uh, holder there. But that's all I have for you for this this week, for this presentation. I hope that was helpful. I, it was definitely a, a discovery for myself, no pun intended, uh, because essentially I, I thought... I had assumed it's one of these three meanings, not really getting the full picture that it's not just simply knowing, you know, which definition to plug in. It's knowing what was being seen, what was being discovered. That is the focus. It's not the actual seeing. It's not the process of discovery. It's the, it's what was discovered. It, what What is, you know, when you dust off, it's like you're digging for fossils. After you find, you know, what you're looking for, what is it? What did you find from your excavation? It's not the excavating that's the focus. It's not the you know the tools that are the focus. 
it's the the treasure so to speak and the treasure in this case is what god found in abraham's heart and what he found what he excavated from this experience from this test is his ure abraham's ure for yah so thank you very much for your time that's all I have for you in this video shabbat shalom and maranatha